G'day guys, welcome to Unity Crunch, a series of bite-sized videos explaining concepts and topics in the Unity game engine in a fast, easy, and simple way. In today's episode, we are looking at the concept of collisions. In Unity, there are two different types of collisions, physical and trigger. These are then further split into 2D and 3D colliders, which are then split into their individual collider shapes. Firstly, physical colliders. If you go put your hand up against the wall, you'll obviously realize your hand doesn't go through the wall. The wall collides with your hand as your hand collides with the wall. Simple physics. Physical colliders simulate this real world fact. When your game character or another object hits an object with a collider, it will simulate the physical collision that would occur in real life. When you create a basic Unity object, it will already come with an assigned collider for that object. When you import a custom object, like this watchtower, you will most likely be missing a collider, or as it is known as a collision model. As you can see, I cannot hit or walk up the watchtower. You can fix this issue by clicking Add Component on the model in the Inspector tab, and adding the correct collider. For simple objects, you can add a box or sphere collider. You can also edit the collider by clicking the Edit Collider button in the Inspector tab, and adjusting it until you are happy. For more complex objects like this watchtower, you can add a mesh collider which will form a collider around the mesh of the object. Now, I am able to walk up the stairs of this watchtower. Trigger colliders act differently from physical colliders in that they do not provide the physical simulation. Rather, these colliders act as a box that when you hit, something will happen through scripting. You can change a collider from being physical to trigger by checking the is trigger box under the collider in the inspector tab. This cube here has been set up as a trigger. You can see I can walk through it as if it had no collider, yet it still has one, just not a physical collider. With some quick scripting using the onTriggerEnter function, a function that activates when something enters the trigger collider of an assigned object, I was able to spawn fireworks after colliding with the trigger. The script sets a public game object which is assigned in Unity. It sets this game object to not active when the script starts. Once something enters the collider, it sets the game object to active. You can use trigger colliders in many different ways. For example, when a soccer ball enters the goal and hits the trigger, you can add a point to the score. Or you could use a trigger to literally trigger a scripted event when the player walks through it. This video covered the basics of collisions in the Unity game engine. We learnt about physical colliders which simulate real world physics for objects, and trigger colliders which allow us to trigger events through scripting. If you want more Unity and game dev related content like this, be sure to subscribe. Like the video if this helped you out, and leave a suggestion in the comments for what my next video should be on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.